Hello, beautiful internet family. My name is Dan Davis, and I'm the creative director here at danstube.tv, as well as the Fearless Drone Academy. And today, we're answering a question that a lot of people have been asking me, and it's to do with the DJI Avata. Now, is the DJI Avata the most exciting drone of 2022? Is it something that you should add to your drone arsenal, or is it something that you should skip on and wait for something else? Now. Right now, I'm going to fly around as I'm talking about my experiences with the DJI Avata. Um, it is a very exciting drone because it's something completely different uh, to what I've tested on the channel. Obviously, I've tested a lot of cinematic drones and the Avata is more of a Cinewoop designed uh, FPV drone due to the FPV headset here. So we're gonna launch the drone right now. We'll jump into it. I'll show you what it's like to fly in this brand new area, which is always really exciting with a drone like the Avata. Um, so also if you do wanna check out some other like special drone deals or drone bundles, I will have a link in the description below to check out what's available on the D1 store. There are some exclusive Dan's Tube combos over there. So check that out. Let's jump into it now. So first things first, prime the motor. And uh, you can probably see, once I start recording, you can see I'm actually using the Osmo Mobile 6 to capture this. Uh, it's probably making the footage a little bit jumpy, so I'm gonna take the drone off now, pressing and holding, and we're up, ready to go. Check that out. So this is the setup. There's the little Osmo Mobile 6 there, using this as a solo rig. That's what I love about the Osmo Mobile 6. But all I have to do is just adjust my wrist like so, left and right, to get that movement left and right. Let me just get the drone behind me so you can also see it as well. Make sure that I've got it in a good spot. Probably needs to come here. There we go. So there you go. So you can see what I'm doing as I'm turning my wrist left and right, I can get those easy movements. It's such an intuitive design, design, such an intuitive drone to use. And then you literally just use the trigger. I just wanna make sure I'm in the frame here. There we go. Uh, yeah, you literally just use the trigger to accelerate and then you just move your wrist as you find different obstacles in the way and you try to uh, counter for what's going on, but it's really intuitive. Like at first I was a little bit apprehensive and you can see that in my first impressions video. I was a little bit nervous but now I can just whip around everything with pure confidence because I know how reliable this drone is. I know how consistent it is. And that's just in the normal mode. That's just me flying in the normal speed mode. So I'm gonna actually change it over now to the sports mode. This is just a little bit faster again. Oof. Oof. Oh, <laughs> love how close you can get to things. So yeah, you can see now, like just after my first impressions, which you would have seen on the channel, there will be a link there if you want to check that out. Um, but now I'm just really confident to do whatever with this thing. It's really, really intuitive. Like that's what I love about it. I just don't really have to think too much about what I'm doing. I can get nice and close to things and I know that it's tiny. So like I can get away with, oh, like turning like that, and because I've got the little roll cage on it, that little protective cage, I know that I can hit something. Worst comes to worst, if I hit a little tree, you know, hit some leaves, and I know that I can keep going. Like there, I, I made contact, but it just kept going. Like that actually made full contact, just keeps going. It's insane, like this thing is very durable. And the fact that I can confidently just go between tight little gaps like this, which was something you would have seen in my first impressions, oof. Look at me go, hitting trees over here. All right, so let's get it a little higher here. I'm gonna bring it back down to myself. Like, <laughs> crazy. And th this is obviously me like not fully focusing as well. So if I'm, if I've got that opportunity to fully focus in on what I'm doing, then I can get super tight close shots. And again, like I don't fly FPV. I'm not, you know, an FPV pilot. I'm nowhere near as experienced as the other people out there that fly FPV actively. So the fact that I can get these kind of t tight, close uh, little shots through gaps is just insane to me. Like honestly, just to kind of preface what I was saying before, like this is probably the most fun I've ever had with a drone. So is this the most exciting drone of 2022? 
I would say yes, it's probably the most exciting drone of all time. Like even when I think back to my first experiences with a drone, you know, I had so much fun because I, I didn't know what to think, but I was a little anxious and nervous. And those feelings kind of came back again when I flew the DJI Avada again for the first time. I was, you know, a little bit nervous because it was something brand new for me. But now that I've flown it a little longer, like I'm very confident to just fly through these tight little gaps here. And knowing what the drone's capable of now, like I'm a lot more confident, which is really exciting because I can fly in an area like this, which is, you know, very tight. You can see how many trees are around here and I can confidently just push it in sports mode, bank it around these trees and, you know, dive back down. Like, it's just so crazy. I love this controller as well. Like I love this controller so much. There's something about using the joystick that is completely different to really any experience, you know, like I've, like I said, tested a bunch of drones. You would have seen me on, uh, on my channel testing all these different drones. I've tested the DJI FPV and that thing's fun, but this is just something different again, because I can confidently fly close to trees without worrying about damaging it. Now I found that with the DJI FPV, like there was no protection on it. You were completely open to any sort of impact where you just saw before I made a, you know, I made some impact. I hit a few things and the drone still hasn't crashed. It's just hit it and then kept going and I can still control everything. It's extremely smooth. Uh, so again, that just goes back to how durable and rugged this thing is. Uh, I'm going to try to focus again on getting some interesting shots here. I love this spot as well that I found. It's uh, very quiet around here. So you can see you can get those kind of banking shots. I can go around and get some very unique things. One thing that is cool as well is you can get different modes. So you can use the horizon steady and you can also use rock steady as well. So right now I'm using rock steady, which is more of the stabilization. Uh, and then horizon steady actually makes sure that the horizon is steady as the name suggests, which uh, is a different look altogether. So the fact that you can use those two is really cool. Um, you've seen on my channel, the head movement that you can do with the drone when you actually move left and right and the drone will you know basically adjust to that i'll just show you again like i'll bring it back in this is something that's very fun very novel and different something that you probably wouldn't have seen or used on a dji drone before definitely not um, but i can bring it over here hopefully make sure it's in the shot yeah that should be fine and then i can enable the head tracking so now as i turn that drone is gonna turn with me I'm actually gonna try to fly like this. I haven't fully flown like this before. So let's see how we go. Oh, it's super trippy with the head movement as well. I don't know about that. That's a different look altogether. Cause you're trying to control two different things now, the camera as well as the movement of the drone. It's a lot of fun though, like <laughs> very unique. Uh, what have we got here? Can I come down through here? Yeah, nice. All right, let's just disable that head movement because it can get a little bit disorientating for sure. So now we're back in the picture. Another thing a lot of people are asking me about is actually the photo quality. Like how good is the camera on this thing? So I'm gonna switch it over to the photo mode. Uh, we're gonna leave it, aspect ratio is all good. Yep, camera field of view is on wide. So we'll leave it like that. And I'm just gonna go up and just capture a few photos up here just to see what it's like um just so you guys can actually see what it's like capturing some photos don't know why it's on an angle i think it's because of the wind <laughs> so let's try to get it like ah not getting it right it's going to be on a weird angle there you go i captured one photo let's go this way <laughs> it's on a very weird angle i don't know what that's about let me see if i can change the settings for that field of view no i can't Oh well, there are just some photos. I kind of just want to really show the quality. I'm going to bring it down and take a photo of me down here. And let's just see what the quality's like capturing a photo down here. That's a little better. At least it's like more stable there. I'm going to do a little peace sign. Angle it off to the side, rule of thirds, <laughs> I guess. There we go. All right, so that's the photo quality. So have a little look at that. That will just pop up on the screen. Um, we'll zoom in a little bit to show you what the quality of the image is like. But when you jump back into the video, this is really what you want the drone for. Like it's not 
necessarily a drone you want to be using for taking photos. I mean, it's cool that it's an option. I'm glad that they've still kept that as an option, but this is where the magic happens. So this is in Horizon, uh, sorry, this is in Rocksteady mode. So I'm going to fly around here for a bit and then I'm going to swap it into the Horizon Steady mode just to show you the difference. So you can kind of see as I come around, everything's on an angle, kind of creates that interesting FPV look, uh, that racer look that we have come to love. So I'll bring it back. I'm going to stop recording now on the drone that's above me now. And I'm going to swap it into, uh, here it is. Oh, so that was on Horizon Steady. So now we're going to swap it over to Rock Steady now. <laughs> I love it how I thought it was in a completely different mode. So let's bring it back down. Let me make sure I'm like, yeah, I'm in a good spot here. So now this is Rock Steady, sorry. The other one was Horizon Steady. So now I'm going to fly in the same little spot I did before and see what difference we can notice. They're actually both great. I mean, they're both great. They've got their own little unique look. There are some other shots that we'll actually bring up on the screen now to show you what Horizon Steady looks like when uh, it's doing what it's meant to do. But you can see this is the rock steady look. It definitely tries to stabilize it, even though it's a pretty windy day today. You can see that it does a really good job of trying to stabilize it. Uh, I've now got the warning on my screen, low battery, auto return to home. So I have to press the lock button to cancel it just to give me a bit more time here. Um, I think we're all good. Yep, we're all good. So you can see that like in terms of camera quality, it's not the best camera quality in the world. Like if we think about, you know, the Mavic 3s, even the Mini 3 Pro, their cameras are better. They're cinematic drones. Like they're designed for that kind of thing where this is more of just fun. Like this is honestly all about the fun element. It's all about the nimble movements making sure that you're not getting that jello or that weird warping as you're going past things too fast. And that's where the camera does a great job because you are, you know, especially in sports mode, you are going quite fast through here. And the fact that you can still keep that footage usable and it's definitely usable, like it looks great as I'm going over these trees. That's really where you want to go here. But you can see one battery and I've pretty much used it now. That was what have we got, 16, 15, like it charges through the battery when you're in sports mode. So I'm just gonna land it over here. It's auto landing actually for me, which is pretty good. There we go, auto landing over there. I'll let it do its thing. But yeah, you can see I'm getting destroyed by mozzies right now. You can see how fun this thing is. You can see that really anyone can pick it up. <laughs> it's just crashing into the, into the grass there. I was recording all of that, that's beautiful. So this is the drone after the carnage. You saw that it made contact with a few things, no damage at all, nothing at all. Like it just handles anything you put it through. This thing's honestly a beast. So anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. I do appreciate all the amazing support. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below of the DJI Avata, and I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.